Hello everyone, this is Dr. Goga, Dr. Gobind Rai Gar, and uh, I'm very happy to introduce you to Dr. Sebati. Dr. Sebati has uh, got a brilliant rank in INICET. So we will be talking to her and uh, uh, looking about how her preparation went and uh, how you can improve your rank after getting inputs from her. So first of all, Sevati, congratulations. Sevati, please introduce yourself to our students. I don't think like, uh, I'm worth introducing myself, but I think uh, I've done my, I'm Dr. Shevati Saturday from Kolkata. And I have done my MBBS from RG Corp Medical College, Kolkata. So I secured the rank of 385, which I know is not a big rank in INI standards, but uh, I think, um, but uh, it's not impossible. Like all of you can, if you want to get, all of you can get. So I agreed for this interview just to have one of, the, one of my favorite teachers and okay. had an opportunity to, of course, uh, be of some help to anyone who is like very demotivated after the results because I've spoken to many of my friends who have not performed as expected. And I think uh, their mental state is taking a toll over their preparation. And I think it is round the corner. So maybe I thought that if I talk to you and this interview goes, very well in YouTube and some of some people benefit out of it, at least in terms of mindset, if not anything else. Yeah, definitely, definitely, Swati. Uh, so uh, we can start with the beginning. Uh, I think this was your second attempt. And uh, yeah. uh, what was the score like in the first attempt? And uh, what changes you made in the second attempt to get a, a good rank? I uh, scored a rank of 1400 with 130 correct. And 70 incorrect in May, in November in INIC 2023. So mm -hmm. I would say that uh, that was a very um, name attempt too early in my preparation phase because I had started properly from the month of August. Okay. So before that, I was getting not very, mm -hmm. like, in a very systematic manner, like you prepare for uh, INIC. So within two, three months, I had given that attempt. So uh, I just went through the notes first. And uh, get that attempt. So I did not dream of any seats from there. But uh, this time, I think uh, the consistency is what worked wonders for me because there hasn't been even one single day in the six months or seven months that I have not studied. It's not for the entire day. If I was having a bad day, then maybe for one, two hours. But there has not been one single day that I did not touch my book. Oh. So that is what, and I think with time, everything makes sense. For first, when we begin, Feels overwhelming, but it gets easier with time. And once you start liking the subject, it doesn't it doesn't become very difficult to put in eight to eight to ten hours a day. Like it seems very uh, mind numbing at first that eight to ten hours to study the same stuff. But with time, it gets easier. And once you start liking the material, I think eight to ten hours becomes cake work. So that is what with time it gets easier. So that is the consistency and following all the advices, especially like attempting GPs carefully and making a GP copy, writing uh, the wrong questions in one to three lines so that I can review that before the next GP. All these things and doing the PYQ as well. You are out of the box, but doing whatever I was doing a little more carefully, which is more with all my heart, and that works, I think. And learning for the sake of learning, not for cracking any engine. So all the things which I give you improvements. Great, great. So if I can sum up uh, what uh, Dr. Sevati is saying is, uh, uh, number one, believe yourself. That is the most important thing. If you have uh, not able to study for some time, maybe one month, two months, uh, somewhere you are not able to study due to any reason, please uh, don't keep on carrying that load. Please leave that load and start afresh. So where, whenever you can start, always start. So believe yourself, number one, then be consistent. So whenever you start, uh, be consistent, continuously keep on studying. It's always important that you make a regularity rather than studying 14 hours a day and then three days you are not studying. So that is not of advantage. Consistency is uh, much more important. And apart from that, uh, regularly give GTs, keep on preparing, solve MCQs, PYQs, and uh, regularly keep in touch and do not study for passing the entrance exam. Uh, try to develop an interest in the subject and if you like a subject it will become easier for you have i covered everything <laughs> more details and more finally than i have to 
<laughs> thank you so much uh, so dr swati uh, if we can try to go into little detail about the preparation in particular particularly a student who is now attempting to go for uh, maybe november inct or uh, uh, need 2025 because they still have around 6 months to give the uh, exam so according to you what should be the advice how much time a student should devote for the notes or a theory part and how much uh, should the student devote for the mcqs and uh, how many pyqs should be done how many times and how much uh, gts should be given regarding notes i think uh, 50 marks uh, in the early phase of the preparation period uh, i focus more on my notes like reading the notes and everything uh, but at the same time if you are reading main notes or any revision rapid revision videos or anything at the same time keep one note handy for your last 15 days revision because it will not happen later whatever has to be done has to be done during the first reading only the first what i believe is that during the first reading you have to keep your revision material ready for the last 15 days and nothing new you can bring bring up nothing new no matter how sharp or concise the courses you cannot bring up anything new in the last 15 days before the exam and pyq i have solved many times like i have followed jana for a uh, emt schedule from after initial november and during every my every year before every year i used to solve all the subjects pyq twice ha apart from that in the last month i solved init i two four times like in the month of april and uh, may and i think it is never to uh, nobody can match the pyq enough like i have done it almost 10 times and i'm sure that even the men now will pick up one or two extra points so pyq is a big thing to come in that uh, that i have done my pyq as well but all the options learning all the options well and i always used to pick up two three new points every time i did the due to not the same pyq and as i said for uh, an, an exam like init it is uh, the more the pyq we do the more the better now and i went on to do pyq in 2015 that is six papers extra from what is available in the app and it worked uh, i got to see direct notice from those six papers so that was a good decision i think and gt i used to attend one in 10 to 15 days i did not focus too much on gt but more on the review part of it i find one of the videos you have advised that we should write all the gt questions in two to three lines i have followed that man they have followed that very rigorously and it was wonders for me uh, so i think that was the best advice anybody has ever given me in this preparation period period to analyze gt and write the questions down in two to three lines during the last day of preparation i could just see those questions and because i read all that gt reviews before every gt before attending every gt so i would follow with that and before the exam i could just go through like by uh, seven like 17 18 gts i have attended in this month that i could go through all of them so all the important points and all the mistakes i have made so that was that helped me to uh, very much so gt i think more than giving the gt should be uh, we should focus more on reviewing the gt and extracting something from it because otherwise it just becomes adding to adding on to the resource more new questions more new facts without actually hmm. analyzing us that's good that's good i will try to sum up again but before summing it up uh, i'm very happy to know i am not the only one because uh, jab bhi i try to study textbook or something and whenever i study howsoever brilliantly i study that next time jab bhi padta hu kuch nayi cheez mil jati hai Yeah. Yeah. so uh, you are the first person who has come to the same point like i kept on feeling since 20 years तो अभी भी मैं फार्मा में कुछ भी पढ़ता हूँ नया मुझे हर बार बुक में से कुछ ना कुछ नई चीज मिलती है तो आई थॉट के सिर्फ मैं ही ऐसा हूँ कि मैं ठीक से नहीं पढ़ पाता नहीं कोई और भी है जिसको ये लगता है Mm-hmm. And when I am sure that I will find more than you are doing, and uh, you are saying that you you pick up new points every time, but I think nothing beyond new notes can actually come up with the exam. So I have I must say that rapid I have seen your uh, rapid revision uh, notes. I've read the notes. I think that that is the best rapid revision note I ever had of pharmacology. Uh, I was you know, telling my mother the other day that I don't think that anything beyond this can come in pharma. And in my I N C T also, we call that we posted in the group 
I think I have got most of the conversation covered. Papa told that one her was that controversial question on how many millimeters. I don't know the answer to uh, that. Uh, I feel that some of the questions they uh, like a her one wala question they uh, forgot to write accept. I feel that was the question. <laughs> <laughs> And also on that suicide inhibitor on a question, I think uh, there was no option at one of the others. And so it was... Um, okay, definitely <laughs> some questions come like that on. And so mm -hmm. I think I should uh, sum up uh, what uh, Dr. Sabati has advised the students uh, uh, regarding PYQs. She is saying that as many times as you can, it will be lesser. Plus she has already done 10 times. So my advice also is that uh, PYQs should be in your blood. So when you wake up, you should be able to answer the PYQs. So it is as simple as that. PYQs ke bina kaam nahi chalega. That is the most important thing. First of all, regarding theory portion, initially you can keep around 50-50% times, half of the time for theory and uh, half of the time MCQ solving. But as the exam approaches, uh, so more time should be spent on the MCQs and PYQs. So regarding GTs, the most important thing is uh, give GT. And uh, more than giving GT and leaving that, that then it will, will not be of any use. Review the GT. That is very important. And reviewing the GT does not mean that you take one GT and keep on spending 10 days on that. So most important is uh, uh, see what are your incorrect answers. Write down in a small copy just two or three lines why they are wrong and uh, where which point you are missing. And keep on studying those small notes. So if you are giving 10 GTs, 12 GTs, so write every wrong points in that GT on the booklet only. Make a separate copy so you can revise in last one day or one and a half day. Almost everything you can revise from that. Am I right? Yes, sir. So now we'll come to the exam day strategy. So like uh, we have uh, different sessions this, this year. Uh, slots of the exams, uh, 45 minutes, I think 40 questions, this type of slots were there. Uh, so what to keep in mind while solving the MCQs? Number one, uh, how to manage the time? And number two, uh, how many questions to attempt? Uh, how many questions to attempt is a question that even I am searching the answer to because I always tend to attempt more. And uh, since in November, I, November in effect, I saw that I attempted all the questions, attempted all 200 and got 70 of the three correct. So in spite of having a high number of correct, there is 130 in terms of that, and NCT, and but my rank fell because of the negatives. So this time I was, I played a safer game. I left five questions and luckily, all, I don't know what, but if I would have marked it, I would have got all of them wrong, judging from the recall. Uh, so I attempted 195 and uh, so and uh, time if you are practicing custom module uh, following the time so it won't be much of a problem I, I managed to uh, I targeted 15 minutes for 20 questions uh, for all my sets and I managed to complete it in that time and I got five to ten minutes five to ten minutes for review at the end of at the end of every set and regarding exam giving strategy I think Nothing can be said. You have to have a sound mind, of course. And as then, of what I'm saying, you should go to Zen board and uh, do, take it mechanically. So, detaching all feelings and not thinking about anything, just approaching the exam like a video game. That's what I told myself. This is a, this is a very low state exam. You have nothing to lose. One month, in one, within one month, you have need teaching. You have nothing to lose. And this is a video game that you're going to play. Uh, like Nan said that Slumdog Millionaire and the person that uh, did not know anything and just guessed from his life experiences. So what is like, uh, I will say something on this, that in our uh, regional television, we have a ad on Dengue, like from the government, which says that Eliza is what the test you go for, you have to go for RT-PCR for confirmatory. And there was a question on this and uh, best possible test. So I knew from the advertisement, no, it is not Eliza, it has to be RT-PCR. Everything, every small thing you've done in the world or seen in the television, everything will come together. And I think you should be, have a calm mind to be with all this thing. And I think the exam is a video again. There's no stakes and forget that it's life deciding examination, career deciding examination. Before the exam, just do whatever you can attempt it. It's nothing bad can happen. You will not fall from this position. You, you can only rise from here. You cannot fall. So, there's nothing to lose. Beautifully explained, Dr. Sabathi. So again, I will uh, sum up quickly. So most important thing, uh, almost in every interview, this is coming up, uh, that most important thing is to be calm during the exam. 
detach yourself from all the feelings forget everything just consider that this is a video game and you need to choose best options what you are saying so that works wonders because you will not get confused आपके साथ फीलिंग्स आएंगी ना एग्जाम में साथ में तो वो गलत ही करेंगी काम ठीक है सो डिटैच योर सेल्फ फ्रॉम दैट सो नंबर वन इज दैट एंड नंबर टू द एग्जामिनिंग बॉडी हैज ऑलरेडी डन बट अर्लियर यू हैड टू डू दैट इज टाइम मैनेजमेंट तो आई ऑलवेज कीप ऑन टेलिंग दी स्टूडेंट दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ अटेम्प्टिंग फोर टू हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन मेक दैम अ स्लॉट ऑफ फिफ्टी फिफ्टी फोर पार्ट एंड एग्जामिनर बॉडी इट सेल्फ हैज मेड दैट फॉर यू so you don't need to think about that uh, so i think time management should not be a problem now because you already know that uh, you have 50 questions in that much time so you will not be wasting too much time on any one particular question and lastly regarding how many questions to attempt uh, so question attempt should be uh, different depending upon the person to person as dr swati said last time she attempted all 200 questions and uh, some of them became negative and uh, that led to decrease in rank definitely this can happen uh, but uh, again uh, the percentage of attemptation should be relatively high so that uh, at least you are not out of the race so if you are attempting only 140 150 questions then it will be a bad thing but if you are not knowing about any question you have no idea at all it is better to leave that so i think uh, we have covered almost everything uh, so the last important question uh, how is your preparation for neat going on uh, sorry uh, starting to neat right from tuesday like after neat um, that was after initial 21st and i am giving my best attending to py2 marathons every night and um, i think that is a great initiative great initiative writing down points in two to three lines that is to super city from that initiative i think also i have been doing that and i think if i can continue in the end uh, this will be a great boost to my rank and i'm just hoping that i get something i am right i can carry on in the same pace that i did before and give a good exam in a clear mind in it also that is very much important right now Definitely. in the last month definitely and uh, we are also very hopeful that uh, you will get a single digit rank in neat uh, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, we will be very happy to meet you again uh, in the interview after the neat exam and uh, all the very best sevati and uh, thank you very thank much you. for guiding our students thank you sir it was so nice speaking to you thank you same here thank you very much